Air breaking tonight, President Biden says he thinks states should pause their reopening efforts as he worries about a resurgence of the coronavirus. The president is urging governments, state governments, local governments to reinstate mandatory mask rules. His CDC director today even more blunt, warning of what she calls impending doom if the country reopens too quickly. We have Fox team coverage. Rich Edson's at the State Department with skepticism over the coming WHO report on the virus origins in China. But we begin with correspondent Kevin Cork and the growing concern over a COVID resurgence. Good evening, Kevin. Evening, Brett. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky expressing deep concern, as you point out tonight, that the U.S. could very soon bear witness to a fourth COVID surge, even as the country has averaged some 2.7 million vaccinations over the past week. Still, the numbers are daunting. In recent days, the U.S. surpassing 30 million cases with the seven-day average, Brett, up 10 percent, as we're now averaging about 1,000 deaths per day. I'm going to pause here, I'm going to lose the script, and I'm going to reflect on the recurring feeling I have of impending doom. We have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope, but right now I'm scared. Right now, I am scared, says Walensky. She also added that the trajectory of the pandemic in the U.S. looks similar to other European countries like Germany and France, where there is a worrying spike in cases, which is all the more reason, says the White House, to wear a mask. I'm reiterating my call for every governor, mayor, and local leader to maintain and reinstate the mask mandate. Please, this is not politics. Reinstate the mandate if you let it down. White House also promising to ensure that there will be a vaccine available site within five miles of 90 percent of all Americans by the 19th of April. That is a scant three weeks from today. CDC director, by the way, also mentioned that the recent increase in travel could be due to the travel. That's a spike in cases, although it's important to point out, Brett, in some places like Texas, for example, they've actually seen a decrease in cases over the past 17 days. We just read that from Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Brett. Kevin, thank you.